Autonomous in three, two, one, go! All four robots in motion now. Last time in the round of 16, this number one seed Alliance Autonomous made all the difference. Oh, the team from Hofe getting rammed all the way across the field during Autonomous. They're playing Disruption. They knew exactly what they needed to do to win this Autonomous bonus. They disrupted the Red Auto. We've got a referee ruling over here. The autonomous bonus is going to the Red Alliance. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go! The Blue Alliance scored more points during autonomous, but the Red Alliance committed, sorry, uh, the Blue Alliance also committed a penalty. They drove into the other team's scoring zone during autonomous. That is illegal. That flips the autonomous bonus from the Blue Alliance to the Red Alliance. Right now, Red with a solid lead, and the Pirates of Antelope Isle, as well as their partners, the Cavalry, looking to build on that as fast as they can. Remember, both of these alliances have already won an elimination match, and both of these Red Robots currently carrying huge towers. Here come the Pirates over to that 20-point zone. They drop. It's good. They're out. Haverford fighting with Anhui at midfield. Haverford now with an enormous 10-tall tower. They're picking up more to put on top of it. And they make a beeline for that 10-point scoring zone. They clash the top of their tower so as not to drop. And they score. It's good. It's Skyscraper Stack City over here for the Red Alliance. Two enormous towers in the Pirates of Antelope Isle building a third. The Blue Alliance, meanwhile, 78-8-4 from Hofe. Oh, my goodness. Look at the size of that thing. 3-1-18 be the Astrobots. They score. Hofe scoring right behind them. Two enormous deposits. Gifts to the zone for the Blue Alliance. The Red Alliance, 2 one 3 one are now going for that stationary goal. They get one. Oh, disrupted by Hofe, losing the top three cones to their stack. 28 seconds left on the match. They pick, they place, they pick, they place. Here comes Haverford into the 10-point zone. Oh, no. Antelope Isle lost an entire tower. There's only one cone in that five-point zone. 15 seconds left in the match, and the Pirates of Antelope Isle now playing furious defense, trying to keep 3-1-18-B with the last blue mobile goal out of the scoring zone. 3-1-18-B stuck between 169 and their partners. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, it's in! Last second five-point goal. Wow, what a match.